Firefly the common Rider shall set the seas ablaze. And today I'm here to tell you how to build her best. My name is Juice and let's get into it. Gundam Girl has one real thing she's after, a crap ton of attack percent and break effect. Since super breaks are the main thing she deals in, there's one main four-piece to recommend. That will be four-piece Iron Cavalry. Says it in the name. The two-piece provides 16% break effect, which she adores, and once you have 150% break effect or more, Firefly ignores 10% of enemies' defense when dealing break damage. Impressive. But the extra 15% for super breaks is wild. Death Ignore is the purest, rawest form of damage increase in this game. There's no way around farming her signature set. If you want alternatives while you farm her signature set, 2-piece break effect percent along with 2-piece break effect percent is a great source of 32% free unconditional break effect. You can combine Thief with Watchmaker for this, and you should have spare pieces of it lying around. Otherwise, 2-piece attack percent along with 2-piece attack percent works because of her attack to break effect conversion. It's pretty nice and very handy. 4-piece quantum is of course a given, but don't farm it deliberately. As for her 2-piece string and orb sets, she has a new signature set in Forge of the Calpagni Lantern. 6% speed along with 40% break effect is super nifty, so obviously farm this one for her. There are a few competent placeholders in the meantime. For example, Talia. 36% overall break effect is very, very nice. Just keep in mind that your Firefly needs quite a lot of speed to utilize this fully. Space Ceiling Station is of course good since it provides Firefly with attack percent, which equals into break effect for her. Firefly is a simple woman. She sees break effect, she hits harder. Firmament Frontline Glamoth is also gonna work, but it'll actually be the worst of this lot. 12% attack is great, but she prefers the extra attack percent from Space Ceiling or the break effect from Talia or Kalpagni. Main stats are simple. Go for attack percent, speed, attack percent, Break effect percent. You use an attack percent orb because fire damage bonus will not increase the damage of her super breaks. Elemental damage bonus percent in general doesn't help break damage, so avoid it when possible. You can use a pair of attack percent boots in niche cases, but you want your firefly to move as much as possible so she can do more damage, so speed will always be better. For those wondering, here's the damage difference between a firefly with a break effect rope and an attack percent rope, so you can see how big of a difference it is. Break effect will be better, but attack percent is a fine placeholder until you can pick up a break rope. Don't bother with an ERR percent rope, because her skill has a set amount of energy gain, and crit fly does not exist. Don't try it unless you hate damage. Stop break points are easy, because much like your teammates, this agent of chaos only craves destruction. I'm so sorry. Break effect, attack percent, and speed. Go for 150 speed, 2600 attack, 180% break effect without signature, and 240% break effect with signature. If those break points are really hard to farm for, then just make sure you're hitting 360% break effect with Firefly after team buffs. Also, 164 speed is ideal for zero cycles. She doesn't need crit stats, so put all the effort into speed farming instead. These are the stats you want on your Firefly before buffs. 2.6k attack translates into 64 break effect, plus a ton from teammates. Break effect after buffs should be at a minimum of 360%, but you can reach as high as 500% break effect. 150 speed will allow you to hit 210 speed within her ult, allowing for a 4 turn ult cycle before it ends. Here's the difference between a Firefly super break damage with 360 break effect and 500 break effect, so you can see how hard high break effect cooks. Cavalry shouldn't be hard to farm considering Firefly doesn't need crit, so just get a 4 piece running as soon as you can, the set was tailor made for her. Our sweet little death machine has various light cones at her disposal. For example, S1 whereabouts should dreams rest. She gets a massive break effect stack stick and can apply a debuff to enemies when she deals break damage, meaning enemies take even more break damage from Miss Common Rider. Plus, she lowers the speed of enemies. This signature is absolutely broken and is a huge increase to Firefly's performance. Its main flaw, the base attack is on level with the 4 star light cone, mostly to prevent Fireflies from breaking the entire game at E6 and just overall game balance. Awesome stuff. 
Yet fear not, free to plays. Firefly has over cheap and competent choices. For instance, S5 Fall of an Eon is a light cone accessible to everyone that performs as her second best in slot. She gets plenty of attack percent when she breaks an enemy. Great free to play alternative to her main light cone. Indeliable Promise also cooks hard on Fireflame, mostly because of the whopping break effect stick you get from it, nearing the 60% you get from Signature at S5. Unfortunately, the crit rate is absolutely useless, but once again, this just goes to show how break effect starved she is. Nowhere to Run is a bit cope for a paid option. You're mostly only going to use it for the attack percent, and the healing is nice if you're struggling to survive, but remember that Firefly also heals herself, so just use Eon, honestly. Something Irreplaceable provides Firefly with attack percent, which is where its main value lies. You'd only be using this for the attack percent once again, it's better than nowhere to run, but this just seems like a waste of a Clara Light Cone in my opinion. It does have a nigh high space attack, which I'll point out, 582. Neat. All other Destruction Light Cones have zero synergistic passives with Firefly, and you'd only be using them for their high base attacks, or just not at all. She is a great free choice in Eon, with a fantastic signature that can act as a huge upgrade. Firefly's teams are interesting, because she only has one. Granted, it's a very good one. Firefly, Ruan Mei, Harmony MC, and then any sustain. Though Gallagher will be your ideal sustain. Firefly needs Ruan Mei and Harmony MC in order to do a competent amount of damage. She falls off massively if you don't have even one of these two in your team. This isn't a big deal with Harmony MC, seeing as they're free, but Ruan Mei is also a must and she's a limited 5 star. You might see some nuclear showcases with non may or non-HMC teams, but remember that the current MOC is very Firefly-centric. HMC provides Firefly with quite a few things. As hard as it is to believe Firefly on her own lacks damage, HMC enables her to deal huge super break damage while using her insane toughness break, since this lady breaks fire weaknesses with a capital B. There's massive potential for Firefly to do an absurd amount of weakness break damage, and Firefly also doesn't have the ability to do her own break procs. A majority of Firefly's damage comes from HMC's super break from the backup dancer effect, with a much smaller portion being her own super breaks. They can literally deal 2-3 to three times the super break that Harmony MC is capable of. Plus, no HMC means a weaker Ruan Mei as well, who also adores HMC's break effect buffs. Ruan Mei also does plenty of things. The main thing I enjoyed about her in my playtesting is how she delays the enemy and extends their weakness break duration, allowing Firefly to blast another huge super break attack thanks to the enemy's turn being pushed down. Not to mention the speed buff she gives everyone along with her own break damage, which is exemplified by Harmony MC and fits wonderfully into the super break core. I also enjoy the weakness break efficiency everyone gets, making Firefly destroy weakness bars faster than ever. Fantastic synergy. As for your sustain, Gallagher will always be ideal. He's skill point efficient, can offer break vulnerability, is a fire type so he can help contribute to breaking weaknesses to proc more firefly super breaks, and not gonna lie, his own super breaks do a pretty nifty amount of damage. Huo Huo also works. She provides an attack buff to the team, but holy skill point drain. You really want E1 Firefly for this to work properly. The main benefit of Wu Wu is that if you have her E1, you could potentially run Firefly with 150 speed on a pair of attack percent boots. All of her sustains will work fine, but they won't provide anything in particular for Firefly. Sustainless teams want E1 Firefly to properly function thanks to the skill point deficiency. Your fourth slot can be Sparkle or Asta, and Branya works too, but is a little more scuffed. Get in the robot, Firefly! It's time to learn how to pilot Sam. Her basic is what you'd expect, a simple single target fire hit. As for her skill, at base she'll consume 40% of her max HP and restore a fixed amount of energy that cannot be risen through an ERR rope. She then deals fire damage to a single enemy, and from my own playtesting, yes, Sam does not perish if you don't have 40% max HP, she'll just go down to 1 HP. Then she advances forward her next action by a fixed 25%. Her ult makes her commit Evangelion and advances her forward by a fixed 100%. She enters the complete combustion state and gains a big speed increase, weakness break efficiency, and will deal more break damage to opponents during this phase. You can see when her ult will end on the turn order. When that red block's turn starts, Sam's ult will end. When in her ultimate state, her basics will be enhanced and deal way more damage, also restoring her HP. And same goes for her skill. She applies a fire weakness to your main target, which lasts for two turns. She deals blast damage based on her break effect and attack percent. She also restores a little more HP than the basic, and yes, this does consume skill points. 
Her talent has a crap ton of defensive utility. Damage reduction and plenty of effectorize is jam packed into this talent. Also, if you go into battle with less than 50% of her energy, she'll store with 50% ER, so you only have to do one Firefly skill to get her ultimate back. Neat. Also, once Firefly gains all her energy back, she'll dispel all debuffs on herself. At this point, just say you're taking a shower or something, Firefly, because this talent will leave her squeaky clean and ready to rumble. Firefly also has a sick technique. She hops into the air for 5 seconds which you can end early by tapping or clicking your game again. She'll attack all enemies closest to her when the 5 seconds are up or when you deliberately lament on them. And she'll apply a fire weakness to all enemies at the start of every enemy wave for 2 turns. She'll also deal fire damage to all enemies scaling off 200% of her attack. Nice. Her A2 allows her to reduce non-fire weak weakness bars at 55% break efficiency. Heck yeah, I love brute forcing. Her A4 will cause her to deal an instance of super break damage when she attacks a weakness broken enemy during her ult. 35% super break for 200% break effect and 60% for 360% break effect. Keep in mind that 360% break effect is pretty easy to achieve with Firefly, especially considering all the break effect buffs she gets from her teammates. And her A6 provides Firefly with the fabled attack to break effect conversion. For every 10 points of attack above 1.8k, Samuel will gain 0.8% more break effect. Very cool. Trace priorities are simple. Honestly, you only have to level her ult up. It's not only the main meat of her kit, but the whole damn roasted chicken. You can level the talent too, you know, the trimmings, since it helps with your survivability. But you don't really have to. Barely any of Fireflame's damage comes from her talent scaling, so the skill can be ignored. But if you're like me who pre-farmed way too much, so you have enough to level it anyway, go right ahead, you might as well. Just ignore the basics, not worth your time. Listen, being a cool and shiny robot isn't cheap business. Firefly needs funding, so let's talk Eidolons. Very nice increase to the damage of her skill, and also makes her significantly more skill point efficient. Wonderful E1, not necessary, but lovely quality of life. Sam looked at the genre of turn-based and decided it would always be her turn. This E2 is genuinely busted and is a massive DPS increase to Fireflame. Listen, she's amazing at E0, pick her up for sure, but this E2 is undeniably powerful. Not really that big of a deal since Firefly's talent scalings outside of her ult or whatever. This makes Sam a whole lot bulkier, giving the lady a whole ton of effect res. Not really needed on its own, pick it up on the way to E6. Cool quality of life though. Now these plus threes are not bad. More ult scaling is always welcome. The talent doesn't matter much, but hey, more survivability isn't that bad. Of course it's crazy, it's an E6. She'll be breaking far more than usual, as if she wasn't already, thanks to that fire res pen boost. Also not to mention that extra weakness break efficiency. Her Eidolons and Kit tie together wonderfully at this stage. Honestly crazy good how good Firefly's high investment is. I'd say get Ruan Mei E0 if you don't have her, then get E1 Firefly, then E2, then the Light Cone. Then you can consider getting E1 Ruanmei as well, then S1 Ruanmei, because those are also incredible for Firefly's teams. It's excellent how once you're done with Firefly, you're able to then go into Ruanmei's high investment, and honestly, you will end up clearing in zero cycles in no time. Firefly joins the ranks as one of his game's best DPSs. Well, kind of. She's like Child if you think about it. Shares half the team's damage of Harmony MC, Ling. International reference? Anyways, I love how she plays, and there's something here for everyone. Her sheer strength is absurd whether you're a free-to-play, low spender, or even a whale. You'll be absolutely delighted by her performance. I did not think that they could push out another Acheron tier unit, but hey, here we are. Hoyaverse, you did it again. Hopefully this guide was able to get your Firefly burning her enemies down to a crisp. This has been Juice, signing out, and guys, I'm sorry, Firefly isn't a common rider. She's a shiny Metagross.